Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about uh, uh, an active uh, turn on, turn off path for your circuit uh, in the gate driver of the MOSFET. Okay, as you may know, the most uh, used passive uh, method is to use the diode plus a resistor in this way to simulate the turn on and the turn off path of your MOSFET. I think that you've seen this circuit a thousand of times, but uh, have you ever wondered how to make this circuit active? So do not use the diode, but uh, the MOSFET instead. In many integrated circuits, the solution used is with, no, with the switches, of course, because it is, it is more efficient, less dissipative, and so on. And uh, uh, it can also be useful to simulate correctly how your driver is working. So let's do it on a little spice because it's way trickier than you think. We will start by doing a, a very, very classical back converter with a, an ideal switch. An ideal diode and an ideal inductor with an ideal capacitor C and a load R of one ohm. 100 micro, 407 micro, diode D. Let's put the, um, the, the, the gain E1. This will. Uh, Let's use the MOSFET, sorry, because uh, now it's too much. <laughs> Honestly, it is too much. Um, okay, so let's use the MOSFET, the first MOSFET on the list. And, uh, uh, oh. Come on. Okay, and the parameters. So dot 5, 250 kilohertz. And uh, that's it. And of course, uh, the your voltage uh, drive, your voltage waveform between zero, between the gate and the source, uh, zero, five, one nano, one nano, Tion, NTS. This is useful because it will be a very fast simulation and uh, we will save some time. 20 volt, I expect more or less 10 volts. So let's call this node O and let's plot in 2 milliseconds VO. Okay, 10 volts, which is exactly the input over 2. So nothing new under the sun. Yes, there is some losses, but I don't care. So nothing new under the sun. Now, first step is to see how the driver is working. So as you can see, this is the current provided by this generator to charge and discharge the gate capacitor. The first solution will be, of course, to use the passive components that you know. So let's cut this and use the two resistor with the two diodes. Now, of course, uh, the diode on the right, D3, will be the on path, and the diode upwards will be the off path. I think that you saw this circuit, uh, you have seen this circuit a thousand of times. So, let me check D3, and D3 is positive on the right direction, and, and let me check D2 which is positive in the left direction. So now, if you check the waveform VGS, you will see that the D3 is charging the rise time of the waveform VGS, which is correct. And then, if you zoom out, you will discover that D2 is this is charging it's discharging because it is in this direction here so it is positive in the left direction it is the path of the discharge so this this resistor is are off and this resistor is are on and 
For now, nothing new under the sun. The innovative things on this video is to make this path less dissipative and more efficient. So now, let's make some space, because I will need that. Whoa! Not too much. Let's keep our off and our on, and let's use this method here. First, you will need to define the voltages for the positive and negative uh, gate clamping. So, let's use the cell. Let's call this positive, and let's call this guy negative. For now, and for simplicity, we'll, we will put the negative voltage to zero and the positive voltage to five. And by doing this, it is more realistic because the surge of amps is given by actual voltage generator and not by this. This guy here is just a signal coming from microcontroller, just a few milliamps can come from this guy. We will use first switches, uh, and probably I, I will keep using switches. Remember that since this is an high side, you will need also the reference on the source. Don't forget that, otherwise it will be floating. Okay, so uh, I'm doing just some space, so give me a second, please, because I want to be very organized. We need a switch for the turn on and a switch for the turn off. And of course, the voltages that we want to impose. Now, since this, uh, this is the contrary. Thanks. Um, now, when this MOSFET, when this switch is on, this must be off and vice versa. So, plus with minus and minus with plus. Second, you have to provide the voltage reference for the, for the high side. So, we will ground everything to the negative voltage here. And the intersection point of these two will be the reference for the high side, like this. Now, the gate is just one wire, and uh, let's connect the on resistor with this switch here, and the off resistor with this switch here. So, now, in order to turn off and turn on and turn, on and turn off these two switches, uh, the path must be changed in minus one and one whoops so let's make a simulation without pressing the run command maybe with uh, a correct reference when i give the signal one this guy here will have between plus and minus will have this voltage here so let's follow with uh, um, a capture of the screen. Calculator. Let's see if it, is, it works. So, when the signal is positive, so one with the red pen, I have one, I will impose one in all this Y here. So this potential here is kept to one, and this guy is on. Since it is on, current will flow in this way. Now, let's make the same with another color of the pen, minus one. I will impose minus one in both of them. And so, by doing so, I will turn on the other guy. Because the plus is connected to the minus, the minus is connected to the plus. So by imposing minus one, I turn off this guy here, but I turn on this guy here. And so the current will be like this. Now that my paper simulation is complete, I can run the simulation on Lattice Spice. And I will be sure that it doesn't work. 
I'm sure of that. Well, of course. Can't find the definition of switch. Uh... Dot model, switch, switch, are on equal to 1 milli and are off equal to 1 meg. Threshold equal to 0. Satisfied? Yes? Thanks. Okay, so now uh, let's give some name, please, because uh, VN003, VN004 doesn't ring a bell, so let's use some names, please. Um, let's check the VGS. This is very important. Oh, so now I have random spikes for no reason. Mm, probably because uh, of the our honor and our honor of path. So let's check that this path here charged the charge the gate capacitor, and as you can see, it is correct. And the off path here, it is contrary because, of course. It is taken in this in in the right direction. So by putting a minus in the R of resistor, I will have the current provided in the uh, neg in the off path. Now let's check this also this carefully. This guy here is not giving any current, and it is correct like this, because just the voltage generator will provide the sync source current for your driver. So this guy here is responsible for the positive. Uh, for the positive voltage and this guy here even though it, it is a zero volt he will provide of course the uh, the voltage the, the current needed for this and uh, uh, by doing so we can make uh, other interesting simulation so first of all uh, let's make the same thing on the low side because uh, as i told you many times there is no reason actually to have a diode in your circuit especially if you want to go in higher power application. So, we can just replicate this guy here. Oh, Mano, but how can I do the synchronous version if I have... Uh, just put uh, minus one here and one here. Just invert the signals and you are fine. And let's connect this the ground and this here um let me check uh, always the output voltage because it is crucial that we keep the the output voltage to more or less 10 volts as you can see now the output voltage is very it is improving because we are very 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 near to 10 volts um now another interesting fact which is important with this simulation you can simulate other fact oh why did you open the guide you can simulate one important thing and, and it is that when you have a very high powerful configuration you may want to consider paralleling these guys here not only this but also you can consider a different impedance path on the on and the off factor so that you can tune the resistor based on your layout because of course this is also important the the, the path on the turn on and the turn off will be different and these two resistors may be different this driver will, all, will also work even if you put parallel configuration like this You may also want to add uh, some uh, uh, parasitics to simulate uh, what is really going on in a real layout. To do this, uh, in a back converter, you can just keep the configuration like this. Uh, two high side and just one low side. Okay, it will be fine because the low side, it is not so much stressed. Okay, so there's no need to put another low side. But anyway, uh, let's put some impedances like, uh, like uh, uh, one nano, for instance, and... Uh, this uh, impedance of the gate of uh, uh, 5 nano. Now, between this and this, there will be another path to take into account. So let's put uh, um, 
three nano uh, this is the this is the real the, the real thing and also there will be some impedance some uh, parasitic uh, impedances here of 100 pico also here okay so uh, now the, it, it is of course uh, a more realistic uh, simulation so if you see the gate driver the voltage vgs it is like this but uh, in reality it is very very far far from this so let's save the screenshot and let's it put it here the real the real vgs has a lot of resonance inside so let me let, let us put uh, even even here two nano and even here five nano and let's see with the simulation how it does work so as you can see the simulation it, it does slow down uh, uh a lot it does slow down a lot because uh, of course we are we are we are introducing some nodes and this of course will uh, we they are points that must be calculated as a, as a matrix so of course uh, it will it will require some time okay so now let's check uh, again the voltages For instance, of this guy here, ah, it looks fine. I mean, but let's check this guy here. Okay, there is a little, a little bit of resonance here, but uh, less than than I was expecting. Probably because I put uh, very few in the parasitic components, uh, one hundred pico. This can be even higher, even one nano. If you if you increase this, uh, if you increase, of course, this, uh, you will start to notice actually the difference. So I think that uh, we can uh, we can end the video like this, because we simulated uh, correctly the turn on and the turn off path, and uh, I will upload this. I will upload this uh, on uh, on my driver. What is going on? <laughs> let me check before closing the video. Let me just check the waveform here, VGS, just before closing the video. Where is it? So yeah, there is some some resonance here. It was more visible before, but never mind. Okay. Uh, thank you for your attention guys and uh, I will see you in the next video. The next video will be about uh, current control. I promised uh, some uh, some of you that I will I would do also the current control of the back converter and so I next time I will publish a video it will be about the current control of back converter. Thank you guys and see you in the next video.